I saw The Nun 2, and I have never seen a Conjuring Verse movie before. I don't even really understand what the Conjuring Verse is. I know everybody's like, oh, well, we got to have a shared universe now that Marvel did it. And if it were a case where they're like having some of the different characters like meeting each other or like, say, maybe a ghost from one of the films like shows up in one of the other films, I could see that. But like, I, I this is the only one of these I've seen and it didn't seem to have a connection to some broader verse other than it's a sequel to the first Nun movie, which I didn't even see. If they were like building up towards some big thing, like like I can understand like when um Universal was trying to do their their dark universe like I get it they want to have like Dracula uh and Frankenstein and the mummy all teaming up or fighting each other or whatnot but I don't I don't see what what what's the point here and like I generally don't like this style of horror movie it seems very much reliant on jump scares and a jump scare is in my mind the equivalent of a stand-up comic jumping off stage going up to a random audience member and tickling them and then saying there i made you laugh i'm a good comedian because like yeah technically you're a stand-up comic and you did make somebody laugh but you were <laughs> you didn't do something funny you were just doing something to like trigger an autonomous reaction right and and, and especially like if you get kind of the cadence of these movies down because a lot of these movies are pretty formulaic and you get like the 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 cadence of the scares down you can basically predict exactly when a jump scare is going to happen which robs it of its you know intended impact right if i can go like okay five four three two one and then the jump scare happens right right as, right as i finish there obviously i'm not scared because <laughs> i saw it coming and that's mostly what this movie is and like the nun it uh, itself the the it's it's a demon that takes the the face of a nun because it's more blasphemous that way and so it's like but it's just it's a nun with a scary face and like it doesn't do anything other than look scary and stand in like a shadowy place or or like you see its scary face for a second but then you look away and you look back and it's like oh no there was just a shape in the wall that kind of looked like a nun's face or something like that but my general taste for horror is more of like the Ari Aster kind of horror like he did Hereditary and uh, Midsommar. And those movies don't rely on jump scares at all. Those movies, I mean, they do have like uh, gore and, and, and uh, big like punchy elements in them, but it's not like you have a big like orchestra hit where it goes boom and you go like, oh my God, there was a thing. Oh, okay, I'm good now. But no, the uh, those movies tends to have like just a general malaise throughout the entire film. You just, you feel the tension and you feel unsettled the whole time. Whereas in this movie, there's a lot of stuff where people are just happy and, you know, just going off and doing their thing. And then all of a sudden, boom, there's a bad thing that happens. And so like, there's no real oppressive tone throughout the film. It's the nun shows up to do its thing and then it disappears for no reason other than, oh, it's it shows up to be scary for five minutes. Now let's go back to the plot. I, I see that Psy seems uh, disappointed. <laughs> uh, that uh, I, I don't quite like these movies. Um, I, I I get like if you like popcorn trash is kind of how I describe this. Like I, I can understand that there is a certain appeal there. It's just it's not for me. In terms of if you haven't seen the first movie, you can go into this one without having to see it at all. Like they they did make this movie very much expecting a general audience who either didn't see the first one or couldn't be asked to remember the first one because they like anything important from the first movie that comes over, they fill you in. Like they have people telling stories about the, the events of the first one and they say, oh, they defeated the nun the first time with like the blood of Jesus Christ. They had like a relic of the blood of Jesus Christ that they used or something like that. And um, there is something that I have to bring up that is a spoiler because it's the end of the movie. So I'm going to put this up and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put up this spoiler warning here. And I'm going to take it down after I've talked about it because I'm talking about the ending. So if you don't want to hear that, mute until the spoiler text goes off like this. So this is up. You have been warned. Here's the spoiler. So they defeat the nun by using transubstantiation because the nun is in a wine cellar. And the two main characters, the actual nuns, not the demon nun that are fighting it, they decide they pray over the wine to turn it into the blood of Jesus. 
and that's how they defeat the nun. And it's not only that bad, it's that I called it like 30 minutes beforehand because they set up that, oh yeah, where the, where the demon is, this place used to be a vineyard. And there was like a whole conversation where one of the characters expressed doubts about transubstantiation. And they set up how the demon was defeated the first time with the blood of Jesus Christ. And so, like, I just wrote down in my notes, I'm like, if they defeat the, the demon with transubstantiation, I'm going to be so mad. And they did. <laughs> so uh, I called it. I called it. It was I saw it a mile away and it was exactly as dumb as I was expecting. When it happened, I didn't get mad. Actually, I laughed because um, <laughs> I'm just like, of course, it's this dumb. Of course, they would do it. But anyway, that's it. That's the spoiler. Back into it. Uh, would I recommend seeing this movie? No. I and, and you know I have seen movies that are that are jump scare trash before that I could still be like, look, if it's your thing, sure go for it. But I just this movie's confusing, like and confusing in like at the beginning of the movie, there's like two different sets of characters that are it's happening in like two different places, but they don't do a really good job of establishing that these are different places. Like I actually thought all of the characters were in one spot for like a good 20 minutes of the movie just because they didn't do a good job of establishing like different areas because I guess a lot of the set design just felt very samey. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're setting up something big. They're, they do have like, they do a Marvel end credits tease for some future Conjuring thing. I guess they're bringing back the original um, characters uh, for something. Um, the um, Vera Farmiga and Patrick Wilson, the actors, the, their characters from the first Conjuring, they're coming back at some point. But they will only show up in the end credits. I, I don't even consider this a spoiler because they're not in the movie. They're just in the end credits and it's a scene completely unrelated to anything else. I just, I don't even know what it was about, you know? But yeah, just if you have to see everything that's in the Conjuring verse, I would wait until this comes out on streaming. I don't understand the Conjuring verse. I think I, anything that I learn about it has been against my will. I saw this movie because there was uh, not a lot else to see in, in the theaters this week. So also because Sai asked me to watch it. So there you go, Sai. This, this one's for you. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. I'm trying to get my channel monetized, so your view means a lot. Don't forget to toss me a like and subscribe and ring the bell. I stream every Monday and Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific, so catch me live and join in on the convo. You can find all my socials in the description below, and thank you to all my patrons with a special shout out to Piftle Cakes and Ryan D. Your support means the world. Catch you next time.